Ladies, gentlemen, and lacrosse fans, welcome back to the Ballarat Regional Soccer Facility. We have game two of the penultimate day here at the 2023 Lacrosse Australia Under-15 National Championships. This game is another one to decide who will play the Stingrays for the championship tomorrow and who will see the Phantoms for bronze in the, uh, in the final games of the tournament. We have to my left of screen currently the Thunder from West Australia and to the right we have the Western Metro out of Victoria. Officials just getting announced on the field as we go here and then we'll see the starting lineups for each side heading out. Don't have a full lineup list for both sides, however, goalie for Western Metro, we have Lincoln Struess, and then for the Thunder, we have number 11, Ruben Mann. So Metro's finished atop their pool in play, uh, Thunder finishing second in theirs. And teams running out onto the field now, so we see the Metro out there first. Few players to watch, both sides offensive powerhouses on show as the Thunder make it out. For the Thunder, it is number 24, Rowan Glass. He's big, he's tall, he can throw the ball. Uh, that's I'm pretty much, that's, that's all the things I'm pretty sure. Um, their goalie, number 11, uh, Ruben Mann, also a good player there. And they've got a number of face-off looks that uh, do a good job there, as well as number six, uh, William Frencham. So, so obviously, Key players to look out for all over the field. They are they are in the uh, playing for the uh, chance at a final, so we know they're good. But uh, again, just a, just a few standouts there on the Western Metro side. Lincoln Struess has a great outlet pass and can stop the ball. He's a great transition maker for the Western Metro, and they will capitalise on those fast breaks wherever possible. Um, at the other end, we have number 23, Josh Mannix, a standout on the offensive side as well as. The, uh, the tail of the tournament for the Metro is scoring depth. They, uh, they can put the ball in the back of the net in a number of ways. There's a number of, uh, of veteran players out here. Um, some, uh, some great transition chances as well. Yesterday we saw uh, number 22, Gabriel Bramich, create some play out of the defensive end for them, as well as obviously Strews with those long outlets to players streaking up the field. And uh, again, as we saw with, uh, as we said with uh, the Thunder, a number of face-off looks for this Metro side as well. So expect to see a big battle at the face-off X, and then at either end, expect to see offensive powerhouses up against good goalies. And uh, it looks like it's going to be uh, Tonelli taking the first face-off for the Metro. And uh, if I can find a number just past this referee here. Uh, it is number 33, Tyson Gill taking the opening face-off for the Thunder. So, Tonelli versus Gill, and we'll see how we go here. So, we have Thunder shooting from left to right, and we have Metro shooting from right to left currently. Both of these teams came off massive wins yesterday. In the other side of uh, the play, there was uh, a bit more of a scoring parity, whereas... Um, uh, both both of these sides again on real hot form in terms of their scoring. Tonelli gets the clamp, plays the ball out to himself, and Metro starting the game in possession here as they look to get some subs on and get things set for themselves. Cross now, Henry McGee with the ball. Tonelli staying out after the face-off win on the offensive side of things. Lucas Newbury with the ball, sends it down now to Jet Lua. Lure out of Altona has been having a good tournament for the Metro. Josh Mannix with the ball now. Got a sister playing on the fire team as well as uh, an older brother who's played for Victoria the uh, last few years. Ball now with Newbury again. Up top, Tonelli with it. Looks for the dodge north-south, goes wide, has the alley look there. Pass deflected. And we've got a loose ball out the side, picked up by the Northern Thunder as they look to send the ball up the side now. 33, Gill with the ball, their face-off man looking to clear as we go. And Thunder looking to set up for their first look of the day. Number one with the ball, Charlie Bug. Thought about looking inside, decided against it, sends it out now. And Gill with the ball. 
up top, Glass with it, and he may well be the trigger man for this offense. Glass with a short stick matchup on him at the moment. I think we're going to see that uh, that change probably through the day. Again, he uh, was dominant in their performance yesterday, along with the man with the ball now, Frencham. Frencham looks at the dodge. He's got the pole on him, gets the bump, wears it, looks to curl back up top now, passes back, Gill with the ball. Frencham thought about a pick, decided against it, swings it on through. Lucas Newbury guarding now, sends it behind. Bug with the ball. He's got Tonelli guarding him. On now with Glass. Glass gets above GLE, thinks about the shovel shot. It's wide of the mark, but backed up there by Bug. That was as close to a moving pick as I, you could possibly imagine on that one. I think Glass deemed to have stopped just in time. Glass with it on the far side. He's watched by Henry McGee. Looks at the pass inside, decides against it. And we've got a number of cuts here going through for the Thunder as we see uh, Glass wind up and let that one rip. Shot wide of the mark, backed up by the Thunder. Ball behind with Bug. Up top now with Jackson Newsom, sends it up for Frencham. On to Gill now. Thunderside really looks like they're sort of going for a little bit of a uh, little bit of rope dope action early as we see Frencham with a gr great cut pass finds him. His shot saved though by Struis. Nice work on that one. Thunder come up with the ball again. Glass with it now. He's guarded closely by Bremich. And for anyone watching at home, uh, I'll check the comments uh, periodically. If I have any mispronunciations, please do let me know. Although, uh, if uncorrected by the end of the tournament, any nicknames or mispronunciations do become legally binding as Struz makes his second save of the game to start the day. Up top, pass off the mark there. Glass with it. He's got two defenders ahead of him. Pulls it out. Noting the number mismatch there. Curry's up top and we're going to see 31. Benjamin Pierce with the ball now. Gill up to glass now. Pass inside. Frencham turns the corner, sees the double team come. I think uh, fans hoping for a cross-check call on that one. Didn't get it. Ball checked loose with the overhead check there by Henry McGee, who hustled hard on that one. Some good defensive effort from the short stick player there. Ball rolls out of bounds, and it's going to be Thunder looking to clear now. As the uh, game progresses, I'll try to keep you up to date with some stats as we go, although it is just me with a uh, crude piece of paper. And sometimes I get a bit excited by the game itself and stop paying attention to the, uh, to the numbers. So I'll do what I can as McGee looks to clear now. Gets by his man, and he's got a step on him. Slowed a little bit on that one, but manages to get by Frencham there for the clear. And we see, finally, as they get into the offensive half, Frencham, the consistent attempt there, Gets the ball out. Glass with it now. Great riding pressure there by French. And pass inside. Bug. Shot. Score. Gets that one by Struess as Glass finds Bug on the crease to get that one and open the scoring for today. Uh, Gill and Radford in the centre there now. Gill got the clamp. Uh, ball's knocked loose and neither side able to come up with it yet as it comes wide. Picked up now by number two, Hayden Nesbitt. Passes across to Bug. Bug handles under pressure. He's got a defender coming after him. Sets things up well though. Gets the ball out up top for Gill as Thunder looks to get their man on the field. Nice handle there by Gill, the long pole to create that uh, offensive chance there for the team. 
Bug with a long run up now. He's cleared for launch, puts the shoulder down, gets by one, it runs into the second and is knocked wide. His pass is wide of the mark and Thunder unable to chase it down in time. Good defensive pressure there by Metro. I think Bug made a nice, uh, a nice initiation of the play, just couldn't get that pass off after the second defender approached. It was uh, Bramich, number 22, in the green helmet who we talked about earlier. And looking for the clear now is the Metro under pressure there. Ball was knocked loose, and then loose ball push is called on Frencham. So Metro will get the ball. Radford passes up and over, and Flynn Crawford will send the ball inside. Maybe a little bit rushed on that one. Ball was knocked back out, but collected again by the Metro. Looking for the shot inside, gets under his man. Overhead check there, knocks it loose. Obviously, for those of you playing along at home, if you've ever had a coach, you'll know that you never go for overhead checks. That one worked, though. It was great. Um, loose ball, still being scrapped from the middle, picked up finally by Flynn Crawford, and Metro will look to settle now. They've looked a little bit rushed just early in the game. Again, they're, they're a fast scoring team, but uh, I think um, perhaps maybe not ready to uh, start the game down one zip. So uh, already just looking a little bit, a little bit more rushed than we'd expect from the Metro, although expect them to uh, to compose as the game goes. Mannix behind with the ball now. He can create well for himself uh, without a lot of assistance here. So he's got the pole match up. The coma slide's already come across now. Thinks about the shot. Sends it upside the field. Shot saved there. Great little uh, shot by number 13, Jet Lua. A good job there by Mannix to dodge with his eyes up. Went from that bottom corner to the far top corner. And as we get the ground ball there, we have Flynn Crawford come up with the goods. So just a good job there by Crawford picking up the scraps coming out of that play there. It was a little bit, uh, a little bit all over the place, but he comes up with the ball and puts it in the back of the net to level things off at one to one. Here in game two of the morning, game one we saw the Stingrays defeat the Phantoms. So we'll see the Stingrays in the grand final tomorrow against the winner of this game. The loser of uh, this game will take on the Phantoms for bronze. In the middle now, we've got 44, Cade Lakin for the Thunder. Couldn't get it to go as Tanelli comes up with the ball. Tanelli up to McGee now as the Metro look to settle down in their offense. High pass, not controlled there at first by Maxwell Marquard. Uh, got the ground ball, but had it knocked loose again. Mannix now in there for the ball, but it's uh, Thunder coming up with it there on the two-on-two. Two. We have a check there, clips the ankle. I think we're going to have a slash call there. And we're going to see Thunder go man up and get the free clear here, I believe. Thirty seconds of call for interference there. We'll see the clear, and Thunder will look to set up in their attack again. Gill with the ball up top. He's got Oliver Russell coming out to show here. Sends it down the line to Bug. Bug behind now. Glass stepped in, thought about the shot, decided against it. Hitches back out. Gill up top now with it. Gill inside, finds his man. Couldn't quite get hands free to shoot there, Oliver Johnson, but sends it back out now. Thunder with it again. Gill to Frencham. Frencham shot wide of the mark. Couldn't get it to go. Glass with it on the far side. Watch there by Bramich. Carries across, thought about the handoff to Gill, decides against it. Dodges inside, looks to roll out now on the alley. The second pole comes. Shrugs inside, had the ball knocked loose there by Bramich on the second attempt, and Frencham is going to come up with the ball. Interference, the call there. Um, ball's going to go to Metro. I think they're calling Glass there for that when he shouldered the man off the ball, although that close to it. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, trying to clear out for the ball there. So interesting call, but Glass may be a little stiff on that one as uh, Metro will get this one to come. McGee with the ball now. 
Dodges there, gets by Frencham, second player coming for him now, gets by a second, looks to get by a third and does so, and Metro up in their offensive end now, Mannix with the ball behind goal line extended. Pick set at X, didn't, didn't make particular use of it, looks to roll inside, got the ball uh, knocked loose there as the double team came, both sides scrapping for it now, Thunder have done a good job around the goal crease. Uh, with their coma slides and their doubles coming in and just forcing players wide of the mark. We uh, Metro have had a few times now they've looked for... Ooh, pass inside there to Mannix and huge save by uh, Ruben Mann to start his uh, save account for the day. Uh, doorstop shot, went low, uh, dropped hands, high to low, comes out there, that's got to be something. And goal scored on the second attempt. Mannix gets his own back there as... Man comes out and clocks him in the back of the head. So Manix had the low to low look, stopped there by Man. Got the ball back, and after getting uh, yeah clocked in the head by the goalie, manages to put that one by him for the second attempt. We saw a flag on the play. Must have been a technical, though, uh, because we haven't got a penalty serving here, so it would have been a penalty cancelled by the goal, if not an errant flag. Although, with the economy how it is, how do you know? Great win forward there by the Metro, running down the lane. Can't get it to go for himself. It was... Blake Radford got the face-off win, ran down, took the shot, couldn't get it by Mann, who comes up with his second of the morning and is looking to clear now for the Thunder. Two won the score, Western Metro in the lead here in the first quarter as Mann, the goalie, looks to get the ball upfield on a nice slow clear here. Two players in the middle for uh, for Metro as they look to clear. Uh, sorry, Thunder as they look to clear things through. Bit of a two-man game there. Gets Frencham free, although we've got a whistle on the play. Moving pick is the call. So the two-man game, a little bit too movement happy there. So Metro will get the ball back now on that failed clear. Ball up top with number five, Flynn Crawford. He's got a goal already on the morning. Jet Lua with it now. He's watched by 22. Magnus wearing Smith. Behind now it's Mannix. Got an open set here for the Metro. Jet Lua with the ball now. Looks to get by a double cut. Across the top, Ali Dodge shot and saved there by Ruben Mann. Three saves already for him as Lua takes his second shot of the day. Can't get it to go though. Looking for the clear now. Long pole on the far side, up over the midline now. Nice carry, just trying to track a number down here. It is number two, Hayden Nesbitt with the ball. Sends it up and over for Glass. Glass is watched by 15, Aiden Sullivan. If I pronounce that wrong, please do let me know. Short time left. We've got shoot at calls coming. Frencham with it. Shot deflected at first and then saved by Struess as the quarter runs out there. Nice little work by the goalie. Both goalies now, three saves on the quarter. Thunder, good for one goal. They are trailing the Western Metro on two, however, as we come to the end of the first period of play. We'll take a quick break now and we'll be back for the second quarter.
little bit of roughed up field there, so they're moving to some nicer pastures, about a metre and a half over. Ball played forward there by Tanelli. can't get the GB though, and it's loose on the deck, picked up now by McGee, passes inside now for Sullivan. Sullivan looking to set things up in the attack for the Western Metro. Ball is with number seven, Maxwell Marquard. He passes behind for Mannix, and Mannix is with it now. Moving pick, the call against Marquardt. It was, it was a fair way off ball at that point. So, uh, yeah, not sure, not sure quite what's going on there. Whistle on the play, glass with it, and Thunder will look to clear. Can't quite get that one to go. Ball well and truly across the field there. Chased down, but no luck for the Thunder, and it's going to be Metro ball. Uh, Oliver Russell leaves that one for Henry McGee to come and collect now and Metro will look to clear. Ball in now in the middle with Lincoln Struess. Pass up field for the long pole. It was short of the mark, but goosed forward uh, nicely. Thunder came in for the ground ball. That's knocked forward back the other way, and it comes up with Metro there after a bit of a pinball uh, situation, and Tonelli with the ball now looks to carry it over and settle. Tonelli, son of a uh, Footscray legend, Rich Tonelli, is on the sideline with the coaching staff for the Metro. Ball hits the deck there, neither side able to come up with it, and Mannix does after an initial ground ball battle. But we'll back up with Tonelli now. Across the top now, McGee with it. Good off-ball movement there, looking for the alley dodge now. Gets his hands free, thought about the shot, and gets it to go. Ruben Mann looking like he had, had the number for it, but couldn't quite get it to go on that one. Henry McGee's first of the day there. The score is three to one currently. We've seen both go, both teams going back and forth early in the game. Metro just uh, converting at a slightly higher rate than the uh, than their Western opponents. Obviously, it's Western Australian opponents as opposed to the Western Metro. Good job there by Harrison Hall. Can't get it out to his own man, though. He came up with the ball, but it's uh, picked up by Metro on the way out. Loose ball in the air now, taken by Glass. He's got two with him. Gets by the first, gets by the second. Almost has to get by a referee who dodges out of the way in time. With two hands on the stick, he's been called for uh, using his elbow to get through a player there. I think that's a little bit stiff there for Glass as he uh, was trying to weave his way through a triple team. He thinks he was being cross-checked. Uh, yeah, yeah tend, tend, to think, uh, tend to think with the clearing player on that one rather than the riders. But ball with the Metro now. A little bit of frustration from the Northern Thunder, or the, from the Thunder bench on that one. As uh, Jet Lua has the ball now for the Western Metro. Ball behind now. Marquard with it. Sends it up top for McGee. Now that's number 10, Jai McGee, as opposed to number 2. Dodge now from Crawford down the line. Can't get it to go. Shot is wide of the mark. Sorry about the uh, the wind noise you're uh, you're getting everyone at home. But, uh, we're in a pretty exposed spot here and the wind is coming right in at the stands as Josh Mannix drops the shoulder, looks to get by his man, turns back, looks to carry behind now. Pick set for him. And moving pick is the call. We've had a few moving pick calls here. I'm not, I'm not convinced on that one. I think the player was knocked aside as the defender came through. I'm not sure if the movement was was really initiated by him. But uh, Thunderball nonetheless. And looking for the clear now. Gets by one, gets by two, gets by three. Great speed here by Frencham who had a stellar day yesterday. His pass wide of the mark. We've got a whistle on the play.
All right, so we have a call there. Jet Lua, number 13 for the Western Metro, called for a cross-check. So we're going to see Thunder go man up for the first time today and look to capitalise on this extra man opportunity. Great clearing work there by Frencham to get through traffic uh, and create the opportunity. Uh, his pass was wide of the mark, but it's redeemed. I think he was just trying to force it in there because of the uh, the flag on the play. So uh, better, to, uh, better to go hard than hesitant on that one. Glass with the ball now, sends it up top. Frencham sent, uh, sent into Frencham down low, sorry. Shot saved by Struess. Fourth save of the day for him. He's been looking good. Frencham, three shots on the day. Hasn't managed to find the back of the net yesterday, but he, uh, again, had a, had a real day of it yesterday. So expect to see his shooting rhythm come into form. He is an, he's, a, he's a good shooter when he gets a chance. Bug on Struess here. Struess with a size, Bug with a tenacity. Neither player able to get it clear yet. Struess goes the long bomb. It's a long pass, not quite to anyone. Ruben Mann comes out and collects it, though, for the Northern Thunder. I think uh, Struess there putting himself maybe a little under more pressure than, um, than was necessarily there. I think he had a little bit more time to find a, to find a man. Uh, and glass on that one. Errant pass goes over the stick of Benjamin Pierce, and it's going to be Metro ball. Both of these sides looking a little bit a little bit more frantic in the second quarter than we saw in the first. They were both looking quite calm in the uh, in the first game we saw this morning. Both sides were frantic early on, settled in, and then got a little bit more frantic as the uh, as the game wore on. Today we saw a uh, or this, for this game we saw a uh, a more steady and composed start, and now it's gotten a little bit uh, a little bit rushed this second quarter. So I expect to see the teams lock back in as uh, Western Metro. Good job there by Henry McGee doing the uh, the ice skating stop almost to stop the offside as uh, Tyler Smith sends it down. Ball behind, Josh Mannix with it, sends it up top, step down shot, Jet Lua deflected it looks like, and then picked up on the GB by Mann. Nice work there, he runs out. Lua gets a, a body on it, He's trying to pick that one up. Lua hits the ground and we've got the goalie all over him. Hold is the call as Lua continues to try and get over the goalie on that one. All right, timeout charge to the black there. So we're going to get a hold call against Ruben Mann on that one, but uh, I think almost a bit of a professional foul on that one. Definitely worth stopping the player on the deck there. Lure, if he got his hands free, was going to put that one away. Uh, we're going to see Metro with the ball on this one now, though, um, after, a, uh, after a, a bit of a frantic play there on the crease. So uh, we saw we saw as uh, as Man came out and had that pressure come. He, he threw the ball into the back of the net. There, you can do that to then create an opportunity and step back in to uh, get the ball out and look to reset. However, as he did so, he then put himself under that pressure because Lua waited at the back of the goal. And as he stepped back out, the uh, the check was coming for him early on. So, uh, or the body check, I should say, was coming for him early on. So good good composed play around the goal there by Lua, and then both sides just getting a little bit caught up on the crease there as they uh, look to get back through. You're going to see Metro with the ball, though, after this timeout. And they'll look to extend their lead. They are currently sitting up 3-1 to one here in the second quarter at the Ballarat Regional Soccer Facility at Mooreshead Park. In a uh, in a, a massive coup on on field two this morning, we had the uh, the Hurricanes versus the Sparks, the development teams of the tournament, uh, both looking for their first win, and it was the uh, the Sparks out of Victoria with that home field advantage, managed to come out on top 10-9 in a uh, in a, what must have been a nail biter of a game. So congratulations out there. We then had the Fire defeat Waikato also 10-9 uh, just after that. And on field one earlier on, we saw as the uh, the Stingrays got it done against the Phantoms. Ball now passed into Ruben Mann, back out, and Thunder looking to clear things out now. Glass with a bit of a face dodge, dodges inside, sends it back to Mann now. There's pressure coming for both. Mann under the pump there, pass out. 
almost right into the sticker. Henry McGee, who fumbles it, though. Ball's dropped down. Jet Lua comes up with it, and he'll look to clear now for the Metro. Passes upfield for Henry McGee. McGee looking to uh, slow things down as there's no number advantage. Jet Lua has a crack bump from behind by Frencham, but manages to keep his footing. Grabs the ball up top, and Metro will look to settle things down now. Carrying across the top is Josh Mannix. He loses his footing as the turf monster comes out and strikes. Ball in now. Ruben Mann will look to clear again for the Thunder. Ruben with it here. Or Ruben Mann, sorry, with it here. His pass again. French, I don't know, was ready for uh, the ball on that one. Picked off there by Henry McGee. McGee rushes for the shot on that one, and it goes wide of the mark. Ruben Mann will get another attempt at the clear now. Gets it to Frencham now. The ride pressure from the Metro has been proving uh, proving the uh, the goods so far. Thunder really struggling to get the ball out of field. Frencham will take it now. He's been a good single-man ball taxi here as he uh, runs up and gets by Josh Mannix with the big body. Late whistle on that one, and it's an out of bounds. Interesting, interesting to see a delay whistle on that call, but Henry McGee with the ball now. He's pressured by Frencham, who wants it back. Number six, Lucas Newberry with it, and there's a flag on the play. We're going to see a cross-check call, I believe, as Jet Lewis sends that one stick side high to Ruben Mann. Can't quite get it by him. Third shot for Lua, unable to find the back of the net so far. Ruben Mann with five saves on the day so far. It's been looking good. At the other end, I think uh, maybe lower pressure shots, but Struz has come up with four saves so far and only allowed one goal. So good start for both goalies. Lua looks for the step in there. This time he gets it by his man and finds the back of the net there. Referees on the field looking to communicate a bit. CBO has called for a timeout. We're not sure what's happening there. It looked like it was just a step down goal. And then a timeout. Not sure, not sure quite what's going on. So Lua finds the back of the net for his first of the day. And that conversation was just to get to the all clear. So goal is good. 4-1 the score. Western Metro in the lead as Thunder called the timeout on that one. Yeah, not sure, not sure what the confusion was on field, uh, but there we go. Lua finds the back of the net. That one, nice finish there by him. Two big step down shots. Ruben Mann, the goalie, got the uh, got the read on the first one. That second one got by over the shoulder though. Thunder trail by four again. The winner of this game will take on the Stingrays tomorrow. Stingrays got it done against the Phantoms in the first game of the morning on field one. Face off now, we've got Thunder represented by Gill. Western Metro have Crawford in there for them. Metro with the man advantage still. Frencham on the uh, on the naughty chair as Metro look to set things up again. Ball up top now. Josh Mannix with it, sends it down to 
Lua back up to Mannix, over now to Newbury. He finds the bottom corner open, and number five, Flynn Crawford, gets that one to go. Newbury with the assist, Crawford with the goal, Thunder trailing five to one. Same setup again. It's going to be Gill in the centre for Thunder. As we go back to even strength up against Flynn Crawford. Just scored the goal and back into the centre now for the face-off. Gill gets the clamp and the draw on that one. GB still loose, kicked forward. We've got a free ball there. Picked up, no, not picked up at first. Nice check there to contain it. And we're going to have a push call there. So I think uh, Glass got a stick to it. Couldn't quite get it scooped up, though, and then he's bumped from the rear. So he'll come out and take the ball out on the near side for the Thunder. Sends it up top there for Frencham. Over now for Gill. Gill's been good in the centre for them and, and on offence so far. Frencham up top, looks for the alley dodge, goes to his right. He's guarded closely there. Hands-free shot wide of the mark. Strews may have gotten a piece, hard to tell. Looked almost like it just kicked out a little wide. Gill shot, saved by Strews, bounced up into the chest pad there. Does a good job controlling the rebound. And then doing a bit of a one-handed push up on top of that one almost. No, he's, he's gone down. He's hurt himself there. May have hit him under the chest pad on that one. I think he's it looks like he's holding his stomach. Hopefully he's fine on that one. Look, looked like it hit him in the uh, in the torso, but uh, hard to tell. He's, uh, he's he's gone down. Hopefully he will be all right though. Great work on that save as it came in. Frencham's fourth shot of the day. Yet to find the back of the net still. Up now. A little bit of little bit of post minor injury showboating. All right. And it's going to be the clear setup for Western Metro. Struz with the ball now. Looking to settle things down. Neither side have been uh, have been clearing super freely. It's been uh, pretty well contested through the middle. Both sides doing a good job riding. As, uh, as we look at Struz walk the ball up the middle. Obviously my thought is uh, to just run up the field and try and live the dream. Have a shot. That, uh, that always gets a, a ride a little bit more, a little bit more uh, wary about the goalie. And you know, it's a bit of fun too. Why not? Struz still with it. Thunder switching their players around, looking to get over there. Ball deflected by Thunder. Chased down, though. Shot high of the mark. McGee misses the goal, but gets the backup on the way through. The ground is hard underfoot. That one, however, was very, very early of the, uh, of the crease there. So I think even if, uh, even if we're playing on a, a, a softer field, it still wasn't quite going to make it. But great backup there, hustled by McGee. Ball up top now, Riley McG uh, Jai McGee, sorry, with it. He's got Glass coming for him, big size mismatch here. Gets his hands free, shot, save, Ruben Mann. Looking for the clear, McGee comes for him. Mann comes up with it. Looks for the long bomb there, no player particularly open. Frencham's with the ball though. Chases it down, he's got two on him. It's a 2v2 now for both sides. Frencham comes up with the ball. And that will bring us to half time here in the game. Scores currently 5 to 1. Western Metro leading over the Thunder from WA. Plenty of lacrosse coming still in this game. Four points the difference. And again, the winner gets a chance to play in the championship game tomorrow. The loser will play for bronze against the Phantoms. And we'll take a quick chance to show some replays and then take a break before coming back 
for second half action here on Field 1 on the second last day of the Under-15s Lacrosse Australia 2023 National Championship. We are back here for the second half. And Thunder come up with the first possession there. Nice work on the face-off by Tyson Gill. Thunder trailing 5-1 to one after the first half of play. Glass with the ball now. Up top for Frencham. Frencham's looked dangerous so far today. Yet to find the back of the net, but... Again, if he, uh, if he can find his shooting rhythm, he's going to be a, uh, a real threat for the Thunder. As Bug looks to get inside from behind, gets by one, gets by two, gets by three, shoots, and there's a flag on the play as the ball hits the deck after a save there by Struess. And it's going to be number 22, Gabriel Abramich there sitting for the penalty as we see Thunder go extra man. <laughs> French and with it over to Gill. Out back to Bug. 
Bunga has a cutter going through for him. Glass with the ball now. Defender coming out a long way there on the man down. I like that. Tyson Gill with the ball now. Ball up top now with Gill again. Looks to cut through, makes space for Frencham. Gets the handoff, looks to send the ball behind now. Bug with it. Up top, Gill stepped down, thought about the shot, hitches, passes to Glass. Gill back with it now. Hands free, low to low, bounces that one by Struess. And Gill, the face-off man, finds the back of the net on that one. Great work there. The uh, handoff by Glass getting the assist on that one. Gill gets the face-off job after the goal on that one. He's going to be up against Blake Radford for the Metro. Gill getting most of the face-off looks for the Thunder, although they do have three players who they rotate through. Metro been a little bit more free-flowing with the face-off rotation so far as... Uh, what, well, you just sort of headbutted him over there, I think. I'm not sure what was going on that one. But uh, face-off ball come up with by Western Metro. Pass upfield, couldn't get it to go. Thunder defender trying to scrape it free from the earth. Can't quite get that one to go either. Both sides scrapping for it now. Ball knocked loose. Thunder come up with it behind. And Ruben Mann, the goalie, will end up with it as it's shoveled to freedom by Magnus Wearing-Smith. 22, Wearing-Smith with the ball now. And he'll look to carry to safety. He's got players ahead of him. He's got players coming in from this beside him. And he's got players in the middle open if he can get his uh, get his vision onto them. Bounce pass in looking for man. He's got a player coming for him as well, though. Manages to avoid stepping back into the crease as he passes across field there. Ball hits the back of the net. Both sides going for it. Man really just needs to get uh, get himself in the crease and get a clamp on the ball. Once he's, once he's in the, uh, the circle of safety, he's all good. But, uh, yeah, he just came out on that one and, and continued to be in play. So managed to recover now. But, again, this ride from the Metro is looking dangerous. They are scrapping well all over the field and causing a lot of trouble for this Northern Thunder outfit. 5-2 the score. Three points in it. As Mann finds Gill upfield, who carries over, and Thunder will look to get up into offense. Gill scored the last goal for the Thunder. Also the second goal for the Thunder, but uh, the most recent goal. Gill thought about the pass to Frencham, but likes his matchup here. Frencham uh, gets the switch off, so Frencham now with a short pole up top. He may be the man to go. Two-man game. Gill sets the pick there. Frencham thinks about the sweep across, decides against it, but then reinitiates the dodge. Pole switches back onto him. They're doing a good job with the matchups there. We've got a flag on the play. Shot bounces over the goal high of the mark there. Balls with the Thunder here as Oliver Russell comes to have a quick sit on the naughty chair. Swinging it behind to Bug now. Bug up to Glass. Glass look, thought about the step down slides. Frencham gets, gets his hands free and finds the back of the net there. Bit of frustration from the goalie as Frencham finds his first goal of the day to make it three to five. Rowan Glass with his third assist of the day. Creating a lot of opportunity. And I think it, it shows how much of a threat the, uh, the opponents are considering and there's a lot of pressure going out to him. And it means that uh, other players are less, less well pressured for those passes. In a uh, bit of a change up here for the center. We've got a double pole look on the wings for the Metro as they look to get the uh, the penalized man back into play. 44 
Cade Lakin taking the stance out for the Thunder and they come up with it. And we're back to even strength now. Ball up top, Frencham with it now. He got the last score on the board to bring the Thunder within two. And he's got Oliver Russell watching him. Players cutting through. 31 with the ball. Benjamin Pierce looks them off. Carries across. Glass now with it. He's got uh, Bramich watching him. Pierce with the ball. Carrying across. Russell guarding him closely. Hand off behind from Glass. I think his player thought he had it for a second extra. Didn't. Shot there. Goes just outside the goal. Struis ran out, hoping for the ground ball against Glass. Decided he wasn't going to get it off the rebound of the shot and kicked it out of bounds. Don't mind that look from the goalie. Rather than trying to make it a scrap and getting caught up in trouble, just uh, clear it out and then have a second look. Frencham with the ball behind. He's guarded by Bromwich now. Flag on the play. A bit of... I think maybe open-handed uh, pushing there. We've got some cross-check call coming, potentially. And shot saved there by Struess. Cross-check is the call there against Gabriel Bromwich. So next, another extra man opportunity here for Thunder. Pierce sends it down low. Bug with the ball behind now. Via Caleb Riga, who sent it across. Step down shot wide of the mark. Glass had his hands free there. It's backed up by Riga, though. Bug with the ball behind. Up top, Glass thinks about the step down, decides against it. Frencham step down shot, saved Struess. Ball out of the goal. Covered there. I think we may have a withholding call coming here. I'm not sure if the ball's hit Struess and he's been hurt again, but he, he clamped the ball down and just kept his stick on it outside of the goal circle there and stayed. Not sure, not sure what, the, uh, what the go is there, but the referee's having a quick chat about it. Metro getting the ball out on the uh, far side there. They look for the high and offside pass, looking for Henry McGee. Ball bounces. He can't get it as pressure comes in. He's going to inadvertently kick the ball out of bounds. Frencham coming up now with the uh, ball to side. Pass deflected wide of the mark. Frencham chasing after it now. He's guarded closely by number 15, Aiden Sullivan. Up top now, Glass hitches, gets by his man. The trail check does a good job there catching him up, though. Loose ball on the ground. Sullivan comes up with it at first. It's knocked free. Struess now with it after a quick pass back inside. He looks for the long ball meant for Tonelli. Tonelli got a piece of ball but couldn't quite get a handle on it until he chases it down for the ground ball. We've got a whistle on the play there. And a timeout charged to the Western Metro. They lead 5-3 to three here in the second half as we uh, continue to see who will play the Stingrays tomorrow in the grand final for this tournament and who will take on the Phantoms playing for bronze. Quick time out there as the Metro look to just steady the ship. They've allowed two goals back to back, which, I mean, that's sort of just lacrosse. But I think with the uh, with the tournament they've been having and the amount of control they've shown through their games, it's uh, maybe more than they like, even with, uh, with the composure they've still shown, getting some good defensive stops in between those goals. 
So they're uh, going to have the ball up in attack now, call a quick timeout to settle things down before they do. And looks like the coach is just having a quick chat with the referees there as the uh, referees do a bit of rehydrating too. 30 to play is the call. Metro ball will start on the far side. We've got Tanelli over there, number 16, just where that referee's gone and collected his hat. And we'll see how they can do with their, their 6v6 or up until about a second ago, it was a 5v6. They've now set their sixth man on. And McGee has the ball up top, hands off for Lucas Newbury. He sends it down for Lua. Out the back, it's Cliff. Tonelli with it again, up to McGee. Newbury there. Open offensive set here from the Metro. Lua cuts to the crease, looking to make some space there for Cliff. He's defended well by number 22, Magnus Waring-Smith. He's played some great short stick defense for the Thunder as he's drilled in the back there by Lua and will hit the deck. It's going to be Thunder going man up. Great individual effort there from Waring-Smith. He's going to get the ball. He calls the turnover. He got the ground ball. He runs it upfield. It's a great individual play again by 22 there. Man up unit in for the Thunder. Gill with the ball. Gets it to Riga, down to Bug. Number 10, Oliver Johnson flashing to the crease there, trying to, uh, trying to get a look. On to Gill now. Gill, hands free. Ball deflected on the shot there by the defender. Good approach there by number 14. That was Reef Cody. I'm sure there's a, a joke to be made there about a defender called Reef being some kind of great barrier, but uh, I, I don't have the wit for it as the ball is knocked down by the Metro and Struess comes up with it now. Pass up and into the middle. Henry McGee comes up with it. Metro still one man down, so the double can come now. A triple is chasing as we uh, now have Frencham with McGee chasing him. Sorry, Frencham chasing McGee, I should say. Number seven, Maxwell Marquard with the ball now. There's a flag on the play. McGee steps in, sends a howitzer from about 450 metres away from the goal and misses just wide of the mark. It was a slight exaggeration. It might have only been about 20 metres from the goal, but it was still a good distance. We've had a double flag here. So we've got uh, number 18 and number 33. That is Cooper Riga Livic and... Tyson Gill sitting out. So we've got a four zone here for the Thunder. Although the ball's knocked down early on that one. Jet Lua comes up with it as they look to reset, but almost looked like Thunder were going to get the turnover early there. Across the top now, looking down low, and we have a nice little assisted goal. There is number seven, Maxwell Marquard, finds the back of the net. Nice little ball movement there from the Metro. And they will extend their lead six to three. Number five, Flynn Crawford with the assist on that one. He's got two goals and an assist so far on the day for three points. Looking good out there on the uh, offensive side of things as well as taking some face-offs for, uh, for the Metro. In the middle now, we have Blake Radford up against Tyson Gill. Legal procedure on that one, but it's going to be a reface. Gill gets the clamp but has it knocked free as he almost gets the uh, handle on it. Fast break looking inside, deflected there. Number 18, Cooper Riga Livic doing a good job on the knockdown, but we've got a flag on the play here. Lua with the ball, hands free, shot wide of the mark. Second flag on the play as well. So uh, number one eight, 
Hooper Rigolivich is about to sit back down for another penalty almost immediately after his first. Nice little uh, approach there, but then the, uh, the trail check called for the slash, so just getting a bit frustrated on that one as the man got by him. Jet Lua with the ball on the near side. The one-man advantage for a minute, and the Metro will look to capitalise again. Across the top now, Josh Mannix with the ball, sends it down for Lua. They run a wheel, similar to what we saw from both teams in that previous game. Both sides running a wheel on their man up. Ruben Mann backing the shot up on that one. I, unless the umpire's pointed the wrong way. No, no, we're there. I think McGee thought he was getting the ball for that one, but uh, not the case. Thunder looking to clear now through Frencham. Frencham looking for the clear with Jet Lua coming after him. The double team comes. Frencham has the ball, knocks loose. He's still going for the GB, can't get it. Lua comes up with it. Frencham with a big bump there. Lua looking to carry behind one-handed. Thunder bench calling for an out-of-bounds on that one from Lua. Ball knocked down there. Great work by the Thunder defender, number 13, Jet Hall. In the middle now, shot high over the top, number seven, Maxwell Marquard, with a stick up under his chin. Still manages to find the back of the net there for his second goal of the game, making it 7-3. to three. Thunder trailing on the uh, another man down play there for them. Two men on the uh, on the bench now, or two men on the naughty chair for the Thunder, I should say. But a uh, bit of confusion on the wing play. Metro start with the ball, though, so they will start the third period of play with possession and the two-player advantage there. Scores are seven to three. Metro are looking well and truly in control after that last quarter. Thunder showed some glimpses, but just couldn't quite get it to go. We'll uh, take a quick break for three-quarter time, and we'll be back for the fourth and final of this game. Again, both sides looking to make the championship for tomorrow. here for the fourth quarter of the game. Currently in an accidental three-man zone, the Northern Thunder, or the Thunder, uh, sending their fourth man on just in time as Metro looks to swing things around. Step-down shot, Mannix off stick, hip. Stings that one by Ruben Mann and Metro pick up just where they'd like here in the fourth quarter. Mannix is second of the game on that one. 
Score now eight to three. Two men still on the bench. One of them, I, I believe, must be about to be released. Yep. If time runs out before, or if the uh, penalty runs out before the face-off starts, they will be good to go on. And it does indeed. So Glass will hit the sideline for, or the other uh, wing line there. And then we've got the second penalty released now. So once possession is gained, the uh, player can enter the field, and that is going to be number 18, Cooper riga Livich. Metro come up with the ball. Josh Mannix, who just scored, is back with it. Well, didn't see much of him at all in the, uh, that last quarter. He may have been uh, having a bit of a breather. McGee with the ball now. He hands off for Mannix. Pass low of the mark. Mannix scoops the ground ball, though. McGee cuts through. Mannix looks to sweep across the top. Sends it back up to McGee after a little curl back. McGee looks to drive down. He's got glass on him. Big size mismatch there. Looking to get under now. And hands free but decided against it. Jai McGee goes the low to low shot. I think a bounce may have just tricked the keeper on that one. He was well and truly down for that save. And it just trickled by him there. So big, big frustration on that one for Ruben Mann. I definitely feel for him on that one as McGee scores. That's his first of the day. John McGee able to sneak it by him, though. Definitely, uh, definitely as a goal there, can commiserate on that one. You do do find those those tricky bounces sometimes where, you know, you sort of expect it to come in line and length, and then all of a sudden the ball has a has a detour on the way through and sneaks by you. Timeout called by the Thunder, who now trail nine to three. Six points in this quarter, well and truly possible for this Thunder outfit. If they can get the ball out of the center with some big play from Gill, and if Frencham and Glass can hit their rhythm, they can definitely keep themselves in this ball game. But at the moment, the Metro are looking well and truly in control of this game. 30 seconds to play is the call as Tonelli will take on Gill in the faceoff. Tonelli gets the clamp, rolls it out the side. Ball's knocked away and then picked up by Tonelli as it comes back toward him after a, uh, an errant thunder stick knocks it. McGee now with it. He's got Tyler Smith subbing on for them, number 99 in the black and blue. His pass wide of the mark couldn't be corralled by Maxwell Markwad, and it's going to be thunder ball. They'll send a short stick to pick it up, and it's going to be glass coming for the ball. Really struggled on the clearing here. Western Metro have been on... Thunder on this clear, like fluff on Velcro. And as Glass looks to get by his man, he gets by the first there. Smith is coming for him, but he's going to make it over the line in time as Smith pursues. I think this is what we're going to need as a flag is thrown on the play. Glass feeds the crease. Crease player, Bug, puts the ball on the back of the net. Great play there. Bug's second of the game, and that is Rowan Glass's fourth assist. Also known as the quadruple A. And we're going to have a slash called here. Maxwell Marquard is going to hit the naughty seat. As we will now see Thunder go up an extra player. However, the penalty before the goal. So it's going to be a, another face-off. Gil v. Tonelli. However, now we have Frencham on that far wing on his lonesome. Able to run in uncontested. Double whistle on the play. We've had an illegal procedure there. And it is against the Thunderball. It's going to go with Tonelli here. Score is 9-4. to four. Five points the difference. Still plenty of time left to play in this final quarter. Ball now with number 12, Blake Radford. He's got Gill watching him. And he's got an assist coming. Hayden Nesbitt is showing in to be the double as needed. Radford looks like he's going to just carry around the outside as Gill continues to pressure with Nesbitt in behind. Up top now, it's Jet Lua with the ball. I think Thunder could be could be pressing a little bit more. I'd like to see some more pressure from these young guys out there. 
as uh, Lua carries behind. Gill in for the uh, for the double as needed. But, uh, just yeah, just looking a little bit comfortable on the penalty clear there for the Metro. They've been called for a stall and they've taken it out of bounds. It's going to be Thunderball unless this referee doesn't know what a stall means. Uh, they've just they've they've called a stall and they've just taken it out. That's I think the only thing a stall means. Um, so now it's even strength. Uh, I, 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 I don't know what's going on there. We've, uh, we've got new stall rules for today's fourth period, brought to you by Zebra Stripes. Balls with Radford now after the successful penalty kill, and we have number 16, Tonelli, up with the ball there. 23, Josh Mannix gets it. Got it behind. He's guarded by Frencham. Drives righty from X. Loves playing from that backside and then being able to send it through. And Jet Lua winds up and just sends it to that top corner. Great finish there from number 13. That's his second goal of the game on five shots. Uh, again, Metro lucky on that one to get away with the, uh, the, the stall. However, uh, great finish there by Jet Lua. Absolute howitzer of a shot from that top right corner. Mannix gets the assist on that one. Good for two goals and an assist so far on the day. Good spread of scoring there from the Metro as they hit 10 points to four. Radford in the middle there up against uh, Lakin. And Thunder come up with the ball, but there's pressure coming. Great takeaway check there. Jet Lewis sends that one out for the yard sale. And we now have Gabriel Bramich looking to clear the ball. He's chased has a double and triple team arrive, curls back and finds the pass to the open Flynn Crawford. Nice little composed clearing work by 22 in the green helmet. Ball up top now with number six, Lucas Newbury. He sends it across the top for Radford. Loses his footing there on the initial bump. Not sure what the call is. Uh, so we've got a call there against number 22, Magnus Wearing-Smith. Um, so we're going to see Metro go man up. I'm not sure Not sure I'm convinced by that push call. Looked like he uh, went straight into the front of him and the man had just fallen over. But here we are as Lachlan McDonald, the Western Metro coach, uh, guides Maxwell Marquardt onto the field the correct way. I think he was trying to sneak through the uh, substitution box there. As great save. Shot by Jai McGee. Saved by Mann. Goalie uh, had a big piece of the ball. Um, not sure the Thunder goalie uh, was expecting it to be scooped out from under his stick. But they're calling it all clear there. So Jai McGee will get another one on that. That's his second goal of the day there. Two goals on four shots for him. And 11 to 4, the score man has had seven saves. He's been doing his utmost in there for the Thunder, but he's been up against it with this Western Metro offense, as potent as it is. I think uh, Thunder coaches rightfully frustrated on the sideline here after a few uh, interesting calls. We've got Gill and Tanelli in the center now. Tanelli lightning fast on the clamp. I think Gill thought he broke on that one. Tonelli comes out with the ball, though. McGee now with it. Oliver Smith, uh, sorry, Tyler Smith with the ball. Sent behind now, John McGee with it. Looks to curl up from X, fakes the handoff, doesn't, uh, doesn't fool his defender, though. Ball up top now, Tonelli with it. He's got uh, Henry McGee cutting through now. Tonelli looks to drive across the top. He's met by Gill, who has no interest in letting him by. Up now, we've got another stall warning on the, uh, on the play. It's a, it was a quick one after the initiation. Uh, player hits the deck, and it's going to be Metro Ball. 
That's going to be 33. Tyson Gill called for the illegal body. He'll hit the bench and we'll see Metro go man up. Stall still on. We'll see if uh, they uh, actually have to keep it in on this one. There we go. No, they've gone over and been called for at that time. So not sure I, on that time, I, I'm not sure I agreed with the implementation of the stall, but the way it was carried out was correct previously uh, otherwise. Ball sent back inside. We've got Thunder looking for the clear. Number 12, Clay Allen is chased down from behind, has his stick knocked free. And Metro going to be back with a Jet Lou, a good hustle on that one there. He passes upfield. Number five, Flynn Crawford with the ball, looks to dodge Alley. Gets by one, gets by a second, rolls inside, has it knocked free. Glass takes it down, but it's loose, and Jet Lou will come up with it. Nice ground ball there. Swims his man, but doesn't get any forward progress as he hands off now. Ball at that bottom corner, meant for Maxwell Marquardt. Couldn't get the handle on it. He scrapes it upfield for Flynn Crawford, who's with it. He's got space if he wants it. Down to Marquardt again. Cross crease. No, it was a shot the whole time. I thought he was looking for the pass across to Lua, and he sticks that top corner. Easy as you like for number seven, Maxwell Marquardt. That's his third of the game. It was uh, Crawford with the assist. So that's two assists and two goals for Crawford. Flynn Crawford, very balanced game. He's been uh, all over the place for the Metro and contributing two goals, two assists, as we're seeing some frustration here from Ruben Mann, who has been up against it all day between the pipes. Score is 12 to 4 as Gill plays the ball forward to himself. He's caught up by the man, can't get it free. Bramich comes up with the ball. He's chased by Frencham. Nice little toe drag there to get under for 22. Frencham's coming back for him though, and Frencham is quick. He gets the check, ball's knocked loose, played ahead, picked up there, and it was Cliff who got it. He's been hit from the front and knocked into a player behind him. I don't think there was any ill intent in that one. It was just Frencham coming through. Pushes the call. I'm, I'm not convinced on that one. I think it was just an unlucky placement of a second defender as he, uh, as he was run into there. But Metro will get the ball there. Radford with it. Hands it in. Meant for Lucas Newbury. Fumbles the pass at first, but scoops it up. Rolls top side to his left, wants to go back to his right. Good defensive pressure there by number two, Hayden Nesbitt. He's been great all day, the long pole for the Thunder. Good to see out there. Strong pressure there from Cooper Riga Livich. Couldn't quite get it to go though as Henry McGee comes up with the ball. Up top now, Smith does a good job there. Uh, has it knocked free, picked up by McGee. McGee coming through now, high bar to the chest on that one. He's going to get called for the uh, cross-check, or he's going to have received a cross-check on that one. That was Cooper riga Livet trying to No, hold is the call there. Okay, sure. 12-4 the score, and we're going to see the Metro go up once more on an extra man opportunity here. Number five, Flynn Crawford with the ball. We've seen him and Marquardt match up a few times now on this near side. Ball hits the deck. Mannix thought he had a handle on it, but it dropped out. Lua with it. We know he can step down and shoot. Great save there, Ruben Mann. Ball popped back up inside. Almost got knocked in by Maxwell Marquardt. It's loose. Picked up finally now, but bobbled out again. Thunder not doing their goalie any favours here with trying to pop the ball up into the air to him as the Metro players are there looking for those scraps. Ruben Mann coming out to get a check there. Couldn't quite get it to go. Even strength now as Glass comes back out. Mannix with the ball up top. Gets under his man. Shot checked down. Great defensive work there. Oscar Meyer. Going with Meyer there. Sorry if I've mispronounced that, Oscar. It was great defensive work. Another ball popped in towards the crease. And again, the Metro have been able to knock it loose. Thunder are trying to just pop the ball back into their goalie, but it's not working for them. Glass scrapping for the ground ball here. He's getting absolutely hammered there by Lua. There's a flag on the play, but it's picked up by Thunder. So that will continue to go. Clay Allen with a great ground ball through traffic. The long pole there, gets his hands free, go to his right, step down, looking for Bug, couldn't get it to go, ball's on the deck, we've had a flag, so it's going to be a man-up opportunity now for the Northern Thunder. Not Northern, just Thunder, sorry guys.
Swinging it around now. Thunder have Bug behind goal with the ball. Tyler Gill gets it there. Tyson Gill, sorry, gets it there. Ball missed its mark on the pass, but it's corralled by number 31, Benjamin Pierce. He's going to carry back in. Lewis sitting for the one-minute penalty. Behind goal now, it's Bug. Gets it up to Gill. Gill up towards Frencham. Frencham shot finds the bottom corner there. Great little uh, one-two on the uh, redirect upfield. Tyson Gill gets the assist goal and an assist for him after a lot of face-off work. And Will Frencham gets his second goal of the day. Five to 12, the goal difference. So seven points in it as the Metro are looking well and truly on top of things in this fourth quarter here. Tonelli currently facing off against uh, no one. And now Tyson Gill has arrived. So we're going to see a, one of the more traditional one-on-one -on -one face offs. Thunder still with the man advantage. Uh, balls knocked down. Uh, Tonelli got the ground ball, but then missed it wide. Even strength now. Number 22, Gabriel Bramich is coming in for it. Still loose. Ball in the deck. Great work there. Henry McGee just continued to scrap and scrap and scrap for that one. Finally knocked it free to himself. Ball heading wide of the mark. He manages to keep it inbounds. Cliff looking for the GB. Can't quite get it. Bramich comes up with it. Great work by him. We've got the long pole inside. Shot wide of the mark. Great work on that one, but we've got a flag on the play. Frustration from Bramich after taking the hit on that one. And it's going to be Cooper Riga Livich, 1 8, the illegal body. He'll come and sit. Man up opportunity now for the Metro. Up top, step down shot, almost clocked Jai McGee on the way through there. And that will bring us to the end. Western Metro get the W. They will see the Stingrays tomorrow in the grand final. As we see the Thunder heading in to support their goalie, who played a great game between the pipes under a lot of pressure from this Western Metro unit. Coming up in our next game, we have girls lacrosse. We are going to see the stars out of WA taking on the Storm, one of SA's sides. It's going to be purple v pink uh, to see who plays in a championship tomorrow against the winner of Comets v Ice in that second in that uh, fourth game, but second girls game. So that is at 1:45. We'll take a quick break now. Thank you for watching here on the ALN, and we will see you next time.